morning we see. Um, lately I was listening uh, to new wave music. Do you remember new wave? <laughs> it was this amazing phenomena in the early 80s. And there are some nice records to prove it. So first, and I haven't heard this in almost maybe 15 years, um, Bushman by the Fair Sex. The Fair Sex have been a German outfit that played really cool new wave music and uh, I really like this one. It's really a great uh, track. It comes with a inlay which uh, is basically reflecting the lyrics and uh, it's all handwritten. Oh, with this nice last chance catalog of uh, indie new wave music of these times. Now this is, uh, I think, yes, 1987. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. This is the last chance label. This is a really cool track. I like this track. Oh, it's a well-balanced mixture of uh, a guitar-oriented indie sound and uh, some really harsh keyboards laid down and it fits perfectly. In a similar vein, maybe my top favorite uh, New Wave albums is The Influence by Psyche. Oh, this is a great sounding record, I must tell you. Uh, this is uh, an extremely uh, clean produced uh, new wave sound. There's wonderful vocals on it and it came out in 1989. Here is the inner sleeve of the two musicians and the lyrics. And there's a wonderful atmosphere. I really like this one. So, uh, the influence by Psyche, I can really recommend it. Um, now let's go a little more back in time. This is a live album by the band Tuxedo Moon. Now Tuxedo Moon is quite an interesting and uh, influential uh, post-punk project uh, that uh, incorporated a lot of uh, yeah, experimental and ambient tunes into their music and uh, it's really interesting to hear it live uh, it works pretty well I think this album here was sort of a compromise uh, between releasing a, a uh, official live album and uh, having uh, bootlegs released by other people. So um, there's all kind of uh, descriptions about it and uh, all interesting things. So the music is in parts um, intriguing. It's, it's almost, uh, almost mystical. In other parts, it is uh, rather psychedelic, I would say, and uh, and it has still this sort of a new wave aesthetic to it. Now let's go a little more back in time to the uh, second uh, big wave of German music. In the modern times, which was called, of course, the Neue Deutsche Welle. So beautifully represented by this band, Deutsch-Amerikanische Freundschaft, or short DAF, or DAF, as most of the Germans call it, that like this kind of music. Now this was, uh, of course, um, um, their, I think, third album, Alles ist gut, including the notorious uh, Der Mussolini, which uh, was quite a, a provoking track back in the day. 
Um, I'm still amazed how progressive this music sounds. I mean, they did this album in December 1980, and uh, it. Uh, It is so ahead, so ahead of uh, their times. I mean, it sounds like they are anticipating uh, the music uh, that would come 15 years later, probably. So, when I heard this for the first time in the well, in the early 80s, it was actually not uh, not that contemporary anymore. So it was almost uh, the music that the guys heard that were like four or five years older than me. But I was really, really amazed by it, because back in the day, if you heard this, like around 1983, it sounded like something from a different planet. I mean, you, back in the day, you, 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 was not, you, have, you were not used to this kind of harsh electronic music and this kind of a provoking lyrics. And um, well, amazing, amazing album. And it was followed by Gold und Liebe. which is as great. I always kind of treat it like a double album and listening to both albums. Um, sort of consequent sleeve design. Yeah, so this is uh, Gabi Delgado and Robert Girl. Um, and this was in my opinion, this is probably the most exciting uh, Neue Deutsche Welle project that ever was. Great stuff. And um, yeah, I thought uh, at the end of uh, of this presentation, I could always bring some uh, some CD or tape, if the CD is somehow unique in any way or can't be obtained on vinyl, maybe. So this is an example. By the way, it comes in this nice little envelope, which has almost a story behind it, because because I made it <laughs> 25 years ago. I, as a kid, I had a I had a sort of mail order company, so I was sort of selling tapes and records, and uh, I called it Ritual Music. Uh, this was right before I started uh, to set up the, the Anzen label. And uh, yeah, um, this is a CD by Hans-Joachim Bredelius called Der Ohrenspiegel, roughly translated as the Ear Mirror. So Ear Mirror. Um, this is a really nice CD. Um, uh, this is sort of the Rodelius kind of uh, matured into this more uh, orchestral music. Uh, it was it was released on uh, on uh, Multimook, which is uh, Multimook was uh, maybe it is there is a Sweden label from Göteborg. Uh, and they always did these sort of uh, high class uh, avant garde products, always very nice CDs and albums. Um, yeah, this this is music from 1989 to 1990, and um, it sounds really good. I mean, it's really a, um, it's a, it's in parts a very melodic and very accessible music, and um, I wanted to show it to you. <laughs> so that's all for now. Bye bye.